At first glance, Stillwater may seem like any other Midwestern river town, but this little city has much more to offer and has a fascinating history. Join us as we share the true story of Stillwater. The lift bridge is among the most famous landmarks in Stillwater. Originally built 468 years ago, the first lift bridge was made of glued wood chips and powered by four humans on each side that would pull on giant ropes in order to allow especially large ships to pass. The second version was made of pure copper, but then it turned green and fell into the river. Small pieces of that bridge can still be found today. The Commander Building is another famous landmark in Stillwater. This building is the tallest in the state of Minnesota at 2,000 feet. Teddy Bear Park is a beloved play area for children in Stillwater. Originally, this park was called just Teddy Park after President Teddy Roosevelt. The name was changed and the old granite statue of President Roosevelt was replaced with this teddy bear after we read about some of the not very cool stuff he did. This is the St. Croix River which flows into the Mississippi River and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. Named after the famous sparkling water LaCroix, people liked the beverage so much that they not only named the river after it, but they made it into a saint. And named the city Sparkling Water. The water has long since lost its fizz and consequently the name of the city was changed to Stillwater. This is the well-known downtown Stillwater American restaurant Leo's. The site was named after Leo the Great who, in 1793, ate so much ice cream in the course of two days that he could no longer fit out the front door. He would never again leave the building and his remains are still beneath the structure today. The earliest European settlers in the air were the lumberjacks. Due to the lengthy traveling distance from the east coast, they were forced to create contemporary conveniences and tools out of trees. Fresh leaves made excellent blankets when stitched together with spider webs, pine needles, and human hair. Toothbrushes were also constructed from the trees usually from pine cones or pine needles. The first professional woodcutters in the United States were named Jack and Jill Lumberson. Their father, Lumber Lumberson, sent them to the then territory of Minnesota to start a new life. His children would later call the downed trees lumber in memory of their father. After a time, they taught others how to make lumber and that woodcutters would henceforth be called lumberjacks and lumber jills. Soon after, steam-powered paddle boats arrived in the area. It did not take long for one Alexander Vatrosky to use this industrial technology for entertainment. Towed behind a steamboat, Vatrosky figured out that he could stay on the surface by balancing on a long piece of wood. This sport would eventually become water skiing, which was named after him. There are many sites to see in Steelwater, but the history behind it all is most intriguing. Mm -hmm. 